Welcome to event 10 of the Marble Summer Championship. We send you to Birch with our event description. Hey everybody, I'm stepping in for Birch today. And today, marbles will take one frame each to get as many points as possible, then be grouped in the marbles who got the same amount of points as they did to compete for the overall event points. Alright everyone, here we go. Scorpion. Leading us off in our first bowl, and his first shot of two is going to go down as a four. Now his second bowl of the frame, and it is a three, leaving him with seven, placing him in a decent spot so far. Flair opening up with seven immediately. Wow, can he capitalize on this? No, he's going to get zero. And now we have two marbles with sevens. Next up is Evergreen. Here he goes, he's picking off three on his first go. Possibly a different score than what we've previously seen, and he's only gonna take off two here for five. So yes, we do not have another seven. Now, the Wasps come on down, big time hit, seven taken out there against those top three up there. They've not been touched, and it's gonna be another overall seven, our third overall seven already. Now, Cloudstorm. Here he goes, and this one is also a 7, the same exact formation as the Wasps, wow, and he can't capitalize on it either, so another 7-0 for 7, and now Midnight, he starts off with 2 here, he's going to need Big Bull to get this thing back on track, can he do it, no, he gets 5 for another 7. Oh my goodness, these marbles really like lucky number seven here. Now Great White Shark, his first bowl, coming down now. And this going down as a two in his second bowl. This is a zero. He just flew straight up and over, so only two for Great White Shark, our worst bowl so far. Now Avalanche starts off with five. Can he capitalize for the lead? No, it's two. It's our another seven here. These marbles just cannot stop getting sevens. And now Prairie Grass. Big shot for him in his opener. Taking out four. Now, is it going to be another seven? No, it won't. It's another four. Prairie Grass records eight and takes the lead. Huge stuff from him. And Charger's a poor shot for two. Really needs to fix this thing, and oh my goodness, he just did! A spare from Chargers! Clutch stuff from our marble in third place. Huge round right there for him. And the Ghosts record a weak five. Everything in the back here, they can't get to it. They bounce straight up for zero. It's going to be a five for the Ghosts. Not a great score. And now Cherry. Oof. Bad start, only picking up three. And this time he only gets one. Our host just cannot fix his act. It's a four in one of our worst rounds. Now it's party. Can he do something big? No, two right there. Chargers had a two and can fix it, but he can't. It's another five here. And now we get into the end of our opening rounds. Google Earth. He's already can't win it. This is just for his confidence here. He gets three, and he'll get another three for six. Not the worst, not the best. That's been the story of him this tournament. Now Lightning. This is a awkward shot here. A weird scenario for four. He picks off two extra. It's going down as a six, just like Google Earth. And Hurricane. Here he comes. Big opening shot for four. And he has a, a favorable position here if he wants to get some more points. Can he do it? No, he goes straight by. Key mistake from him. And it's only four for Hurricane. And now, you can look at where everyone shook out here. Chargers already has won gold. Prairie Grass already has clinched silver. The red means they cannot move on. All right, in these rounds, each marble will be getting one bolt to get as many points as possible. Lightning in the 1-2 match. He's going to get seven, a big-time shot from him. Google Earth has a hard time matching it, and he will not. Google Earth picks up one. Avalanche leads us off from 3-8 to eight with a 5. 
now the wasps, only with three. Next up, Flare. And this one's big time six. Scorpion now, only three. And second to last here, Cloudstorm. Down he comes, five. And now our final one, Midnight. He doesn't end on a good note. Only two from him there. Here you can see the name and the score from each marble. And that will do it for this event. Now, a look at your total order. Chargers comes up big clutching it here. But how about Flair getting third place? He is just back on track getting a lot of podiums here in the final few events. Prairie Grass keeping up the consistency this season. Very nice from him. And Chargers looking to get on a hot streak here. Sure seems like it. Hopefully he can carry it on in the next events. Prairie Grass does reclaim the lead thanks to that and Cloudstorm shoots back up onto the top page of standings. Now, Flair shoots up four spots to sixth on an absolute charge at the end of the season. He has a chance to win as well. And then, 12th place, Evergreen is the first marble who cannot win. He can still get a podium. And everyone at the bottom here can't podium and cannot win. It's all over for them. Some of these marbles' fates gets closer and closer in the final few events. Stay tuned for that and take care.